hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome from the past HC exam question videos. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the biotechnology chapter. What I'll do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you pause the video, attend the question, and then press play when you're ready. The question itself is this. A woman recently conceived, obviously I was supposed to be in front of the E, conceived Britain's first baby guaranteed to be free from hereditary breast cancer. Doctors screened for an embryo that was free from a gene that causes breast cancer. The screening was performed due to the long history of this form of cancer in the family and the fact that any daughter born with the gene would have a 50 to 80% chance of developing breast cancer. A. Explain the possible impact of this reproductive technology on the genetic composition of the population with two marks. B. Describe the potential impact of the use of reproductive technologies on the path of evolution using one named plant or animal that has been genetically altered. And that's with three marks. So when you're ready, pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. All right, so the first one says explain the possible impact of this reproductive technology on the genetic composition of the population. You have to explain, and sort of two marks. So what you should do is you should uh, talk about what kind of impact this would be. This would be obviously a, generally a positive impact, because whilst we do decrease diversity by removing certain genes through the screening and for then the removal, it's a positive impact because the genes we remove are bad genes and we just keep all the good genes. So we do remove genes from our gene pool, but these are the bad genes. So it's going to be an overall positive impact. So that's what you should focus on when you actually have your answer. What I wrote is, the above is an example of how reproductive technologies can be used to improve genetic composition of a population. Harmful genes can be identified and replaced, which benefits society without affecting the beneficial genes which remain in the human gene pool. Right? So I've said this is beneficial, and the reason why it's beneficial is because we can remove the harmful genes whilst keeping the good genes, and thereby overall our genetic composition for the population has changed, but for the better. And that will get you two marks, so it's a two mark of two question. And the next point is describe the potential impact of the use of the reproductive technologies on the path of evolution using one named plant or animal that has been genetically altered. I'll talk about the goat that produces antithrombin, but you can have chosen any different plant or animal. But what you should do is you should talk about what this example is. So what is the example? Briefly describe the transgenic species or whatever else you've chosen. What you can then do is you should talk about the change. Like is it when it's gen genetically altered, is it for the benefit of this species or is it for the benefit of humankind? So who benefits? And maybe if the actual species doesn't benefit, could that change its evolution? And if that doesn't make any sense at the moment, I'll go over the actual example. might make more sense then. So what I wrote is the ACRYN goat. So this is the goat that produces antifromin. The ACRYN goat, that's my named example, which is a transgenic species that has the human gene to produce antithrombin added to its genome. Right, so that human gene anti was added to it so that it could produce antithrombin. And it is a good example of how evolution of a species could be altered due to reproductive technologies. So this is my example. I get a mark for quickly mentioning my example and then linking next is linking it to the actual question itself. The ACR, ACRYN gene has no direct benefit for the goat, so this gene itself does not give the goat any survival advantage, but it's inserted to allow for the production of a human required chemical. And so it's definitely not going to be giving it any evolutionary advantage. It might not give it a disadvantage, but it's not going to give it an advantage. 
This gene could quickly join the gene pool and become dominant in sheep. Because we were selecting for it, it could take over and eventually the gene pool could be, this could be quite common in the gene pool itself. That's an, at the moment I've established what my example is and that the example, so that the gene that was added to it gives the, the goal itself no benefit. And if everything moves as it usually does, then this gene itself could become part of the gene pool of, for sheep. And the next point will be the summing up point where I wrap it all up. So what I wrote is if the added gene has no effect on the sheep, then evolution of the organism will not be affected. So if there's, if there's a neutral effect on the sheep, then there's going to be no change in its evolution. But, but if the gene has a negative effect, which could be, it could be, you know, some health consequences which we don't know yet, which might come in the future. So if it has a negative effect on the survival of the sheep, then its evolution might be affected as a trait would be bad for it, as it might be bad for its chances of survival. Right? It's all about the survival of the fittest when it comes to evolution. And in this case, if it has a negative effect, that might mean that chances of surviving for the sheep that have this gene might actually decrease. So the evolution might not favor the sheep. That's only if the actual gene has a negative impact, which we don't know. It most likely has a neutral impact, but if it has a negative impact, then the actual evolution will be negatively affected. These will not be selected for in a normal natural environment. Right, so that's what you sh should have focused on. You should have talked about the example, talked about is this gene a benefit to it? In this case, we, I said it's not, it's neutral, but it could be possibly could be bad. And then I talked about what happens if it's bad. If it's bad, then evolution will be affected and it will be negatively affected. That's a three mark question, so you will get three marks for that. And where did those questions come from? They came from this point. Discuss the potential impact of the use of reproductive technologies on the genetic diversity of species using a named example of a plant and animal that have been genetically altered. That was A and B came from that dot point. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.